position. Head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. So Sokolov sees the, the captain, captain of the hell. The only thing. Perhaps there are other rewards. What do you see, see in the stars? stars? You are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? Damn it! Guards! Someone! Help me! Someone help me! No! No! I don't have anything to take. spotted on Caldwin's Bridge, near the home of Anton Sokolov, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Any personnel in the area are ordered to take all measures to protect Sokolov. We got a prowler on. position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Plus, 
Lisa will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Is this the month of August? Time has lost all me. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin, the High Overseer. Let us all do their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun. But not for everybody. You ready? yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. Good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Over. 
overseers were passing and they had one of their, you know, the music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Right through the rose bushes and tackled it. Dragged her back. Waverly threw a garden party, and we slipped in after the S. Oh, there went my invitation. Patty, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those places. No places. Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume as the colors. Invitation, please. Another of them. Shredrick fancies. I suppose we have no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. Right this way, fun, sir. Maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch a plague and die waiting out here. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. <laughs> It was fun for a season, but now... What is it tonight? Yes, we can see their hair and makeup. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three, two, one. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. The party's indoors this time. <clears throat> oh my, that's wicked. Let's Hello. That mask for the you. Boyle Show. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. My is a Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Hello, sir. I trust you're behaving yourself. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. Teach him the best made cards for the half-wit. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. 
Are you sure? That's not how I think you'll get your own squad after what happened this. last night. The Empress Indeed. I believe so. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. Excuse me. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. Additionally, Lily is in red. Hello again. What a deliciously sinful mask. <laughs> 